If y'all hear a plane, I'm sorry. I'm trying to wait for it to go back. I mean, how many planes is it? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I have five things for you that um, will help you transition from spring to fall. I figure because it's actually the second day of fall, thank you God, because <laughs> I'm so over the summer. Um, I figured that this would be a perfect video for you guys. So, yeah, if you would like to see what the five things are that I've chosen to transition you, then keep watching. Okay. Yeah, if y'all hear my stomach growling, I'm so sorry, but I haven't eaten yet. And I wanted to get this video done because it's like so cloudy out and I'm relying on um, daylight. So, I wanted to hurry and get it done before it started like pouring down right now. So, just ignore my stomach. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the first piece that I've chosen to transition your home from spring, summer to fall would be a wreath. I think re the wreath actually sets the tone of your home. It's warm and it's inviting and it's kind of just saying, hey, welcome to my home. This is what you should expect. So yeah, I feel like if your wreath says fall, then when you walk in my house, it's going to be fall. Okay, so the next piece that I suggest would be your pillows your toss pillows your throw pillows however you want to say it um you want to try to convert them to a more warm tone um maybe a darker tone so it could be like your reds your blacks your navies your oranges um browns um just to give that warm feeling in your home and yeah make it feel like fall so okay so on to number three Typically for summer and spring, um, we like for our curtains to be have that light and airy feeling. That could be in texture, that could be in color, that could be in weight. But for fall and winter, we can always transition our home by adding a heavier and possibly darker curtain. Um, that, believe it or not, can really make a difference in your home. So number four is so easy, so simple, and it really, really, really makes a difference. And by being so little and so simple, you wouldn't think that it can make a difference, but it really, really can. And that is a candle. Y'all, I'm so serious. Like right now, I have sweater weather burning, and I want to go outside and play in, play in the leaves. Like, I want to go play in the leaves. You know, there are no leaves yet, but I... I mean, it just gives you that feeling like it's kind of like nostalgic almost. Okay. And last but not least, guys, believe it or not, this can actually change the whole room as well. And that is a throw. Now, I know for me, for summer and spring, I like the lighter colors. I like the lighter weight throws. Um, typically, I go with like the knit throws because um, they're just so soft and buttery. <laughs> but I like the the nice bright white colors or the nice grays or I've even had a yellow one before. Like I just like that. And when you throw it over your sofa, it really makes a difference. Like it really, it really makes a difference. So, yeah, you might want to transition your throat to a warm, cozy, fuzzy, plaid, um, anything that screams fall. Like I discussed earlier, the darker tones, um, that can really transition your home as well. So, yeah, guys, that is all of my suggestions. If you all have any other suggestions, Please feel free to leave them down below. I would love to read them. Um, Cause yeah, a sister can always, you know, use another suggestion. <laughs> so yeah, I tried to come up with five um, things that aren't too expensive to transition your home, but they're accent pieces, key pieces that can really make a difference. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.